na 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 bad to the bone ba na 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 ooh kick the light Hello everyone, this is Ernesto with Aftershoot and in this video we're gonna talk about Lightroom masks. Now we already have a video talking about that subject which covers the brush tool, the radiant selection tool, the linear selection tool, the subject selection, background selection, and sky selection. The link to that video is gonna be in the description below. What we're gonna do today is cover certain scenarios in which those masks don't necessarily do it for us and we might need to do more. So this video is gonna be about mask addition, mask subtraction and my personal favorite, mask intersection. Let's go right to it. So we have this photo right here in which my subject is obviously a little overexposed, but I like the way the background looks. I could technically just bring the exposure of the whole image and then regain the proper exposure my subject should have, but I would lose my background. So since I don't wanna do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to selections, subject selection, and just bring down the exposure of the subject. Now, there's a problem with this, and is, as, is the following. If you can see, Lightroom has not considered my full subject into the mask. So the knee is missing inside the mask. So how do I do it? Because sometimes the subject selection tool or the background selection tool are not very fine and not very exact. In those cases, I'm gonna have to be the one correcting it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press on the mask and I'm gonna add into the subject, the area that I'm missing. Now there's different ways to do it. I could either grab the brush and brush this area back into the selection. But the problem with that is the selection is not exact. It's bleeding out of the subject. So my second option would be also to use the add tool, but now I'm gonna add an object and I'm gonna select her knee. Lightroom is gonna recognize her knee or this area here as an object and it's gonna try include it into my selection so that my subject is complete. And I just wait a little and there we go. As you can see, the edges are way finer, they're way better. And now my subject is complete. And now whatever changes I apply to the subject are gonna be applied to the whole subject without any areas missing from it. So that's how we use the mask addition. We select an area and in order to complete it to suit our needs, we can use the brush tool, the object selection tool, the radial selection, the linear gradient, whatever we need in order to get that area that we are gonna apply the changes to. Now let's see how mass subtraction works. We have this image here of a model that I did for a clothing brand and it looks good. I mean, the image looks good. My only issue with this photo is that the background, the foreground and the model, they're all perfectly lit. So my model doesn't necessarily pop out of the photo because the exposure on her is as good as the exposure in the background. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna reduce the exposure in the background so that she becomes the area of the image with more light and she can pop out a little more. So since I'm talking about the background, my idea will be like, you know what, that's very easy. Let's just do this background selection and then we get the area that we want. The problem with Lightroom and background selection is that Lightroom considers anything in the image that is not the subject as a background. Now, in this case, my background is this area where the windows are and not necessarily this area in the front. This is the foreground. So how do I get just to select the back and not exactly the front? Well, I'm gonna use the subtraction tool. I'm gonna use linear gradient and I'm gonna remove, subtract from this background selection, everything that's here in the front. So I'm just keeping that back selected. And now that I have that area selected, I'm gonna bring the exposure down so that my subject pops out a little more. And that's it, that's exactly how I would use it. Now, in my case, for this particular photo, I would do something else. Since the flash kind of hit this area here, I also feel that this area, this area in the foreground has a little too much exposure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the radial gradient, I'm gonna draw a radial gradient right here, I'm gonna turn it more or less to what I want, and again, I'm gonna subtract my subject from it because I don't want to lose any exposure in the subject, it's just a foreground. So I subtract the, the, the subject and then I can bring the exposure down so that the whole floor more or less has the same exposure. Now, there's a problem, I, I don't know if you guys saw it, but if I check the selection, this mask, this radial mask, also included the chair and the leg of the chair in the selection. How do I remove this? from the selection, well, again, I can subtract, object, 
I'm gonna grab the chair, basically the area where she's sitting first, so that uh, Lightroom recognizes it as an object, and then I'm gonna subtract another object, and now in this case, I'm gonna get the leg out of the equation, and then voila. This is the result just by using my masks. I went from an image that looked like this into this one over here. My idea, the purpose of the masks here were to darken the background a little more so that my subject would gain a little more presence, and that's what we got here. Now, that's when we talk about mask subtraction and mask addition. But what would be mask intersection? Well, let's see it in the following photo. We have this image here where I have a model in the gym. It looks good, but I have an issue. Since the flash is coming from above, I think from over here, the light, as it goes down, loses power. So the top of her body is very well exposed, but her legs lose exposure. So if I wanna regain exposure just on the legs, what am I to do? Well, there's several ways to do it. I'm gonna do it right now with mask intersection. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a brush and I'm gonna paint around her legs right here. And then I'm gonna bring the exposure up. Now that's gonna fix the exposure in her legs a little bit, yes. But as you can see, I'm also bringing up the exposure of the surrounding areas, whatever is around her legs. So if I only wanted the legs, what should I do? Well, I'm gonna right click here. I'm gonna go to intersect mask width, and then I'm gonna go with select subject. What that's gonna do is it's gonna include in my selection whatever is has been brushed by me, but that is also included in the subject. So it's not gonna consider the background. So I do this and then I just get her legs properly exposed. Now I could do it again. Let's say this leg is a little too dark for me. I can go and grab the brush again and I can just select this area here. And then again, intersect mask with select subject. So I only get the leg and then I can bring that exposure a little higher so it matches the rest of my image. And there you go. Now she has a better exposure in her legs and it was not as dark as in the beginning when I shot the photo where the flash was just losing power as it went down. So there you go, that's mask addition, mask subtraction, and mask intersection. Now, you gotta take into consideration that there's not one formula to get to the same result. Uh, it's just like mathematics. If you're doing different mathematical equations or operations and you wanna reach to a result, let's say you wanna reach, you wanna get number four as a result. Well, you can get number four by adding two plus two or by subtracting, I don't know, six from 10 or two squared. There are different operations you can do to get number four as a result. In this case, you can use mask intersection, mask subtraction, addition, whatever you want from the subject, from the background, from whatever you want to get to the same result. Let me show you here. So let's erase what we did in this photo here. I'm gonna erase uh, her legs and I'm gonna get to the same result doing something different. In this case, I'm gonna get the linear gradient. I'm gonna paint this whole area of the image like this. And again, I'm gonna intersect that area with the subject. And boom, I have her legs again, and then I just need to bring up the exposure of her legs. Now, let me show you a different photo and let's apply everything we've learned today. So we have this photo right here, and there's a couple of things I wanna fix. Uh, for instance, the foreground has a little too much exposure and it's drawing attention away from my subject, so I'm gonna darken the foreground. So I'm gonna select this area with the linear selection. I'm gonna make it a little darker, but I'm gonna subtract from that area my subject because that area, as you can see, is also covering a little of my subject. So I subtract the subject and then, boom, I just get the foreground. Now, if you see the background here, there's like a little circle of light is probably where the sun was hitting or something like that. I wanna make this a little darker so it matches the rest of the plants in the background. So I'm gonna use the radial gradient. I'm gonna draw a circle right there. That's good. And I'm gonna bring the exposure down so that it matches more or less the rest of the photo. Now, of course, that is also getting a little of my subject. So I'm gonna subtract the subject and then I just get the background. Now, let's say now that my background is kind of matching, I wanna make the whole background a little darker again, just like the example with the model, so that my model can pop out a little more. So I get the linear gradient tool, I bring it down, maybe all the way to here. Perfect. 
then I'm going to subtract the subject again, and I'm going to bring the exposure of that area a little lower. I can move this and it won't matter because my subject has is always excluded from the selection. Let's say right there. And that's perfect. So there you go. That's mask addition, mask subtraction, and mask intersection. Remember to follow Aftershoot in all of our social media to have the latest information in what we have for you. See you in the next video.